class. Today we're gonna do a glue resist with watercolor. Now, what I did before we started here is I took just a basic glue, I checked, I opened the uh, nozzle so there's some space here. I checked the top to make sure there isn't any glue stuck in there. Turned it upside down until I felt all the glue kind of get to the bottom here now. And I very carefully and very evenly made some lines like this, okay? Right across this and then I let it dry. So this is the next step after that's dry. Um, in another tutorial video, I showed how you can use like a little Easter candy um, or just any kind of candy container to make a little traveling watercolor kit. So that's what this is. Um, but I'm, I already wet them a little bit, so I'm just gonna take some out here on my palette I'm going to use my brush to carefully go right kind of up against or close to the um, edge and you can use colors that are next to each other on the rainbow or color wheel in the same area um, and if you do something like this where you have one color and then the other color right in between you can put some water like this. And then we'll start to make some interesting uh, combinations of color here. Oops, I don't have paper towel. Here we go. Um, let's see. I'll do a little more here. You're just kind of following the glue lines, okay? You're, you're accentuating um, or, or, uh, putting more focus on the lines that the glue create because the glue is going to more or less stay white. So the eye is always going to go to the area that is the, the lightest and the brightest. So the area with the most white is where your eye will go first. So I'm just laying in some deeper color here because I didn't get it really rich and covered before. And actually while I'm at it, I'm going to put this color in a couple places so I don't have to keep changing my color on my brush. That will save me time. There's different ways to fill in areas. Um, I'm just showing you a couple of them here. Since I already have some of the color in there, I don't have to keep refilling my brush when I make that mark through that area. Let's see. Now, if you get it a little bit more on the glue, don't worry about it. It'll kind of run down and raw off of it a little bit. Um, but you want to try and get some pretty good rich colors. Actually, you can you can go over something like a dot, and then just come back in with your finger and kind of kind of wipe it a little bit. Um, but for the most part, I would you know try to avoid the glue if you can. Then if you lay down some more water, kind of in between an area, you can see how it's going to make the color move around more. Don't get your paper too wet. Um, it'll cause it to start to ripple and get all bendy, but have fun with it. Experiment a little bit. Your goal is to just follow the lines um, and have colors meet each other in between spaces. So I'm gonna use some blue here. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, that is a bold blue. This is probably a phthalo based blue. That's a certain kind of pigment. Um, and it is a very strong, very, very strong pigment. It's easy to overpower other colors with it. It's also very pretty.
All right, you can start working on yours. Get the glue, um, lay down your glue lines. And once you have that done, you can push it aside for a little bit and work on your other projects you're finishing because the odds that all of you are completely done with all of your other projects are pretty low. And then look at your glue and check to see when it's dry and then you can start in on this watercolor. I'm going to continue painting this so you can look up and watch a little bit more of this tutorial if you want to while you get working.